Hello. We're back and we're making channel history with our very first Who Will Be Our Next Yokozuna Rankings. Sokro! Hakuyo! Hello and welcome back to the dojo here on Mr. J Wag's channel. We are back with our end of 2023 sumo coverage. Uh, and we were going to do our next, uh, who will be our next Ozeki rankings, which we update twice a year. But hey, this time uh, we actually have enough Ozeki to make a who will be our next Yokozuna rankings, like a full episode as opposed to just like a, a, a side comment. But to follow up on our two recent channel updates, number one, yes, we are still doing our 2023 holiday Kickstarter. Do check that out if you have not yet. The Dohyo's 2023 holiday type thingamaganza. We are running this Kickstarter through the end of the year. Reward start at 30 bucks. Check it out if you haven't. We just put up a recent video and I will put the link in the description. And following up on the other channel update, yes, I still am testing positive for COVID, but don't worry, I am feeling much, much better. Thank you so much for the kind wishes and and thoughts and hopes and prayers. Uh, I appreciate all of them. Uh, and yes, like, don't worry about me. I'm feeling fine. It's just, uh, we, we've still got two lines on the test, so still got the coma. But yes, welcome to our very first Who Will Be Our Next Yokozuna Rankings. Very excited about this one. Now, a lot of you have asked me in the past why I haven't done a Yokozuna Rankings along with, like, my next Ozeki Rankings. And the simple reason is, well, uh, we haven't had that many Ozeki and it just would have been like Takakesho, and that's a real boring episode. Turn Fuji leapt through Ozeki so fast, like, it, I, we wouldn't have had time to do an episode. And to get the Yokozuna rope, first you must become an Ozeki. So it just makes more sense to have the Ozeki rankings because all of those people, if successful, will be Yokozuna. But if they're not even getting to Ozeki, we don't have to worry about the Yokozuna thing. But the sumo gods have smiled on us this year and given us a plethora of Ozeki riches. So let us rank them. These rankings are only for the next nine basho, the next year and a half of sumo. So who do I think is most likely to become Yokozuna between now and like Nagoya 25? Number three on the list, and this may surprise a few of you, my very favorite wrestler, Taka Keisho. Yeah. Uh. Now, I love Taka Keisho, and if you look at the guy's resume, he is clearly the most decorated of all of our Ozeki, if not all of our non-Yokozuna wrestlers in sumo right now. He's got four Yusho, eight Jun Yusho, and has been Ozeki for 26 Basho. And he's 27. What's the problem? Why would, well, it's the miles. It's the miles and the injuries. Uh, Taka Keisho has had such a fascinating year. He's gotten two Yusho this year and also two Kyujo Kadaban. So he, he sort of like lived the entire Ozeki experience in one six Basho era. Well, with Taka Keisho, it, it just seems to be the miles. The guy has been in Makauchi since he was 20. Like I said, he's been at Ozeki for 26 Basho. That's a, that's a very long time to be up at Ozeki. Now, why do I think he's third on the list, considering he's had two Yusho this year and, like, two legitimate Yokozuna runs already? I just feel like this this is sort of the end of the Takakesho peak. I don't expect him to age as other wrestlers do. A lot of other wrestlers, their peak sort of ends at, like, around 32, 33, and then they have, like, a gentle fall-off. Takakesho, I really don't expect to be performing top-level sumo into his 30s. And not only that, his very specific body, which makes me love him so very much as an athlete, uh, it, it sort of limits him. There are just certain wrestlers he's never going to be able to regularly beat with the body he has. And that is going to keep him from getting the dominant scores, I think, to get him up to Yokozuna. Uh, it would actually take Takakesho, I believe, two consecutive Yusho, because I don't think he's going to get 13 and twos. Takakesho hasn't gotten a 13 and two in years, despite the fact we haven't really had any Yokozuna to fight on the Bonsuke. I'm sorry, Takakesho. I just I just don't see a scenario where you get two Yusho in a row or two 13 and twos in a row before you retire. Now, number two, this is going to be anticlimactic because once I give you number two, you will know who number one is. But there was like an actual fight out between number two and number one on this. Question is, are these rankings about who is going to make it the soonest or who do I think is most likely to get there over the next nine basho? Uh, now, on a previous Ozeki rankings, I came down very firmly on the, I don't think it's who's going to be in like the next tournament, but someone who's much more likely over the next nine basho, they will go ahead in the rankings. So in that case, I put Hoshodu over Daisho. 
which ended up being correct. But in this case, I'm actually going to do the opposite. So number two will be Hoshodio. He of course is our newest Ozeki. He has the smallest resume. He only has one Yusho. He's only had two Basho at Ozeki, but he did have an amazing year getting promoted to Ozeki and having 59 total wins on the year. Now, of the three Ozeki, I think his future looks the brightest. And of the three current Ozeki, he is the one I am most sure will eventually be a Yokozuna. But when it comes down to the next nine tournaments, I don't think it's going to be him. He's still 24, he's still growing into his body a little bit, and when his body catches up with his swag, he will be formidable indeed. And looking through the last couple years of Hoshodu's career, he seems to make a little bit of a jump every four to five Basho. Imagine a world nine Basho from now where Hoshodu has taken two jumps ahead in his sumo. Ooh, that'd be very exciting. I do expect Hoshodu, by the time he is 26, to be getting up to the 13 and 2 Yokozuna line. But I'm much more confident that those days are slightly in the future for Hoshodu and not in the exact now now. And number one, yes, Kirishima. Now, of course, Kirishima had an amazing year, spent the whole year up in the Sanyaku, won a tournament, became Ozeki, came back, won another tournament, got 13 and 2, something he has never done before. With the exception of one Kyujo in Nagoya, across the board, excellent, excellent sumo. Now, obviously, yes, returning champion, he is, in fact, the closest to Yokozuna, but I also believe over the next nine Basho, that is the chance he is going to have in his peak before the young hotness moves in. Yokozuna tend to retire at like 31, 32. Don't let the, the, the Haku Ho Kakudu years skew your idea of this. In nine Basho, Kirishima will be 29, and a little bit long in the tooth for someone making a Yokozuna push. And midway through 2025, I'm sure we will be looking at people like Haku Woho, Atami Fuji, Ono Sato, along with the people who are already here, like Kota Nawaka and Hoshodu. Now, looking down the barrel of that possible future Bonzage, when those guys are starting to just hit their peaks, how sure are you that Kirishima is going to be able to get like a 13 and 2, a 12 and 3 in that Bonzage? The real question with Kirishima is, is this a high point or is this a new normal? Can we count on Kirishima to get 12, 13 wins every time? Because if so, that is Yokozuna Sumo. But someone who gets like 11 and 12 every Basho, it's such a small line, but it's a crucial one when talking about Yokozuna promotion. Remember, a Yokozuna is basically a living Hall of Famer who cannot be demoted. So yeah, you want, you want to be sure about this. Now, longtime fans of the channel know I've historically underestimated Kirishima, and in fact, most wrestlers who are like the slow and steady, not flashy types. But I have to admit, and give the respect where it is due, Kirishima has had an outstanding year, and he is the most likely of our three Ozeki to make Yokozuna in the next year and a half. Thank you so much for watching our year-end sumo coverage here on the Dojo. Please uh, remember to like and subscribe. That just tells YouTube how popular we are and that more people should see the Dojo. Also, check out that Kickstarter. Any level of support is very appreciated. Stay tuned to the channel. We have our next Ozeki rankings, which will be coming up right after this episode. Whose year was it in 2023? You're not going to want to miss that episode. And of course, all of our pre-January coverage that you're not going to want to miss. All right, everyone stay safe, stay strong, stay healthy, and I will see you next time on the Dohyo. Yeah.